Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about or play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and left the ruins for the final time. And in this episode, there's no going back. Even if we try to call Toriel, nobody picked up. Interesting thing about this screen though, if we go ahead and click on this. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. That's weird. Anyways, let's just go ahead and uh, take a walk through the forest. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyway, you're human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. I bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work to done today. A skeleton. Sans. Ah, oh, come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Ha. Ah. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. These are Sans and Papyrus. And you probably know this game just from them. They are just so great in this game. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but uh, can you do me a favor? I was thinking... My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. And he goes off to the left instead of the right. Anyways, this is 
convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. That's a great bit, the conveniently shaped lamp. Right over here is something quite important. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. So I want to go ahead and use this. This is your storage system. First of all, I want to take out the tough glove. And second of all, I want to put away the butterscotch pie and the spider donut, because those are important things that uh, I want to, I want to uh, use a bit later at a very specific point. Snow Drake flutters forth. So for this guy, you want to go ahead and let's check him first. The teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Ice puns are snow problem. I sort of gave him like a nerdier papyrus voice. I don't know why. If we laugh, you laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. <laughs> so now that we've laughed at his joke, let's go ahead and spare him. Right up here, we have a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. <laughs> Speaking of calling, uh, okay, no, we can't do anything else. Just checking. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Sans! Oh my god, is that... a human? Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... popular, popular, popular! Ahem! <laughs> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then? I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Hey, is your refrigerator refrigerator running? Yeah. Nice. I'll be over to deposit the brewskis. So that's something interesting that I want to talk about. This game has something called the fun value. This is basically something where whenever you start a new game, you basically get given a random num number, I believe from 1 to 10, and based on what number you get, throughout the game you'll get random uh, little things that pop up that only happen when you have that certain, you know, fun value number. What I'm trying to say is every copy of Undertale is personalized. No, not really, but you know what I mean. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you panda? I bet it was at the very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. So I hope I'm doing Papyrus' voice- oh, Ice Cap. I hope I'm doing Papyrus' voice justice, just because, you know, he has a very specific voice that pretty much everyone gives him, and I hope I'm doing a good job at at least imitating it. You manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here! I don't know what voices I'm giving these monsters, but you know what? We'll just see what happens as we go along. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine, I don't care. Oh, I got got right there. Next we want to... Steal? You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. And succeeded, it melts in your hands. I, I, Ice Cap is no more. It's just ice. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine. I wanted you to see me as cool. Ice doesn't mind its identity. 
and now we can spare. We have a new sign. Absolutely no moving. Okay, I need to be able to do a Brooklyn accent. A hey, absolutely no moving. That's not good. A hey, absolutely no moving. Okay. Does something move? Is it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. This is Doggo. Great name. I'm gonna go ahead and check it. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Let's just do that. That is a blue attack, and we'll get into what that is a little bit later. Now we want to go ahead and pet it. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. Pot, pot, pet, pot, pet, 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 pet. Doggo has been pet. And now we can spare him. S something pet me. Something that, has, that isn't moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No. Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy? Is that you? Come on. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. I'm doing sort of like a deeper sans voice. Whoever you are, knock it off. And he just stares at you and leaves. Well, not leaves, he just ducks behind the counter. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Hey, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, then think about blue stop signs. Remember, blue stop signs. The best way to elevate that bit further would be if the remember blue stop signs thing was in green or something like that. Oh, next enemy. This is the lesser dog. So with this guy, uh, you don't have many options, so let's go ahead and pet. Barely lifted your hand unless the dog got excited. <laughs> oh. So you'll notice that his neck got a little bit longer. His like head went up a bit higher. We go ahead and choose pet again. You lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited. <laughs> so you could spare it right there, but pet the dog. It raises its head up to meet your hand. You pet the dog. It was a good dog. You pet the dog. Its excitement knows no bounds. Lesser dog is overstimulated. Critical pet. Dog excitement increased. You have to jump to pet the dog. You don't even pet it. It gets more and more excited. <laughs> Shows no signs of stopping. There's no way to stop this madness. Kettle dog... Or, ugh, I saw the word kettle and then I said kettle dog instead of lesser dog. Enters the realm of the clouds. Call the dog but it is too late. It cannot hear you. You can reach Lesser Dog again. So now he's wrapped around and is peeking down from the top of the screen. As we continue to pet, he clips into his own text box from him panting.
it's possible that you may have a problem. <laughs> Maybe. Let's just continue this uh, until we get to the sort of end of it. Lesser dog is gone where no dog has gone before. Okay, so I've been sitting here for the past several minutes just petting this dog and it doesn't seem like there's anything else. I thought there was something else, but I guess there isn't, so I'm gonna go ahead and spare this dog. Oh, threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. Played fetch for a while. Can we just keep doing this? Okay, I'll go ahead and spare him. 60 gold. Not only does that help with getting yellow names in the credits, but it also does something a little bit later. North Ice, South Ice, West Ice, East Snowden Town, and Ice. <laughs> Speaking of ice being everywhere, there's this snowman up here. Hello, I am a snowman. I don't know why I made him British. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. I'm going to keep this with me for the rest of the journey, basically. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, the orb will administer a, a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> and he just slides off the screen. Papyrus has a ton of funny exits like that. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made a few weeks we made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? <laughs> I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 15G. Sure. Here you go, have a super duper day. And we made him smile. That's cute. This right here. This is uh, the ball game. Basically your ball, your goal is you want to get the ball in the hole. A lot of weird rhyming and words that sounds like. I'm gonna see how well I do on this. Probably not well. Yep, I'm doing pretty poorly right now. Ah, crud. Okay. The physics can be a bit finicky, so let's try this again. I want to see what I get.
Alrighty. Okay. So depending on how fast you do this, you get a different flag and you get a different message that goes along with it. In terms of messages and rewards for beating the ball game, here are the different ones you can get. If you wait for the ball to be very small, then you'll get a light blue flag that'll say, Ball is small. You waited still for this opportunity, then dethroned ball with a sharp attack. You are awarded 4G. If you wait 20 plus seconds for the ball to get in the hole, you get the purple flag, which I'm about to read in a little bit. If it takes you 15 to 20 seconds to get the ball into the hole, you get the green flag, and it says, Your concern and care for ball led to a delicious victory. You are awarded 1G. If you wait 11 to 15 seconds to put the ball in the hole, you get the blue flag and it says, Hopping and twirling, your original style pulled you through. You are awarded 2G. If you wait between 8 and 11 seconds to get the ball into the hole, you get the yellow flag, which says, Your surefire accuracy put an end to the mayhem of ball. You are awarded 3G. If you wait 6 to 8 seconds to put the ball into the hole, then you'll get an orange flag that says, You are the kind of person who rushes fists first through all obstacles. You are awarded 5G. If you get the ball in the hole in less than 6 seconds, then you get the message, Bravery, Justice, Integrity, Kindness, Perseverance, Patience. Using these, you were able to win at ball game, and you are awarded 50G. And if you get the red flag twice, it says, Try as you might, you continue to be yourself. You are awarded 10G. Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You're awarded 2G. You get a different reward each time, too. Huh? There's a camera inside the lump of snow. That's weird. Also, something that I just forgot to mention is that during Papyrus's first puzzle, uh, if you try to walk away, he has some extra dialogue, so that's pretty neat. It looks like a snowball, but actually, it's a snow decahedron. <laughs> I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? It meant 50G. Really? How about 5,000G? 50,000G, that's my final offer. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> right over here we have his and hers. Smell danger rating, snow smell, snowman, white rating, can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy, blue rating, smell of rolling around. Weird smell, humans, green rating, destroy at all costs. You know, because, you know, dogs are colorblind. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. So we have a kid's word search. We have Icy. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? So, uh, I'll go ahead and give credit if you can debunk this, but I believe this word search is um, unsolvable because the word in the bottom right, Gias Focal Fabreber, is different from the top line of the word search, Gias Focal Foob Reber. I don't know. Sans, that didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Um, in my opinion, uh, crossword, I guess. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes with the letter Z, because every time I look at a crossword, I all I can do is snore. Yeah. <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. And of course, as always, you get different dialogue depending on what you choose there. To know from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. 
You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus. Got the mouse. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold it's stuck to the table. Ugh. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings are say spaghetti. <laughs> Knowing that the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. And with that, we, in this episode, have done a lot. We met Sans and Papyrus. We did a couple of puzzles. We met Lesser Dog, pet him a bunch. We met Doggo. Uh, and, yeah, we did a lot. I Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on through the snowy forest and perhaps see what else Papyrus has in store for us. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.